Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve or prove a very important relation between beta and gamma function and it is very very important from the examination point of view. It came in almost a lot of examinations. So let's just see how we are going to solve this. Okay. So first basically it's like a physics derivation you have to know some steps how to solve it and how to prove this thing so let's just see how we're going to do this n will be equals to integration 0 to infinity t e upon minus t t to the power n minus 1 dt here we are going to put t equals to x square and dt equals to 2x dx and on putting the value on putting the value we are going to get n is equals to 0 to infinity e to power minus x square value of t is this when we multiply this with n it will be 2 2 will multiply with n at this so it will be 2n minus 2 and value of dt is 2x dx let's just further simplify this thing and see what will come let's take this 2 at outside of this limit it will be e to the power minus x square and since here the power is 1 so this plus this 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 will become 2n minus 1 dx okay from here we can write the value of m also by looking to it the value of m will be 0 to infinity 0 to infinity it will be e to the power minus y square and here it will be y to m minus 1 dy now we are going to do our main thing which is this multiplication by this will be equals to 4 0 to infinite 0 to infinite and this two shifts will be e to the power minus x square plus y square minus an x square plus y square this thing I think you guys understand this and x will be 2n minus 1 y will be 2m minus 1 it will be dx dy let's see what is the next step next step basically is also an assumption this thing which we use in converting a term into polar form let's let's see what it is next thing what we have to do is we have to put x is equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta dx dy is equals to r dr d theta and x square plus y square equals to r square putting all those values all those things in the above uh, above e equation we are going to get a value let's see let's just put the values here Let's see what, what we are going to get on putting the value 0 to infinite, 0 to infinite, r equals to 0 to infinite and here remember theta will become 0 to pi by 2. The new term theta will be introduced and it will be equal to pi by 2 and uh, on putting the value of x and y it will be okay, that. E will be minus r square minus r square this thing become minus r square because sin square theta plus cos square theta will become equals to 1 okay and here putting the value of x which is r cos theta so it will be r cos theta 2n minus 1 and here it will be r sin theta to m minus 1 
this thing become little bit yeah little bit of tacky kind of thing and dx by dy will become to dr by d theta so we are almost done I think yeah we are almost done nothing much is remain in this thing let me see what we can do more to just improve our quality we can just further more simplify this thing r equals to 0 infinite theta equals to 0 pi by 2 e to the power minus r square and let's just separate this thing on separating what we are going to get is r r will be common from the both side and on writing this thing it will be 2 m plus n minus 1 yeah that will be and cos will become 2 n minus 1 sine will become 2 m minus 1 and r d theta r dr by d theta here it is let's see what is the next step basically by the definition of uh, beta and gamma we're going to separate this thing now we're going to separate this thing so on separating it will be 2 r equals to 0 infinite we're going to put the all the terms which contain r for example this one this one let's see this one and this one 2m plus 1 minus 1 into r dr and this thing will become equals to m plus n m plus n now same we are going to do with uh, let me change the color we are going to do with uh, theta for the theta thing like this one this one and this one we're going to write this one in a one separate place where theta equals to 0 and theta equals to pi by 2 writing the value which is sine 2 m minus 1 yeah sine 2 m minus 1 cos 2 n minus 1 theta d theta and this thing will be equals to beta m plus n so that is it you have to i think you have to um, understand this this thing as a physics derivation just like a physics derivation you have to understand this thing nothing much is there also just uh, few things which you had done that we have to put n equals to 0 to infinity to power minus t and this thing you remember putting this all values solving and you get the answer automatically all those things yeah yeah that is it thank you for watching and do like share and comment and do whatever you want to do man basically this is a kind of a physics derivation so you, I, you, I can't do much about it you have to little bit like just learn this thing or something like that you, basically there's nothing to learn but you guys are smart enough man. you know what to do thank you for watching Have